Hi guys, so here comes my first video review. I'm more into photo reviews of my Jurassic Park diecasts, but well, I've been asked to do this, so let's do it. Um, I just want to apologize if I make any mistake in English because I I'm French and I wanted to do something that most people can understand. So here comes the new Papo Young Patsosaurus. Uh, first thing I want to say that the paint is really great. It's some kind of brown, but there's darker stripes, like on the T-Rex, for example. Um, also, something I really like is the vertebrae details uh, from the neck to the tail. They're really nicely made. Uh, like on Papo Herbivores, the clothes are painted, uh, but, well, the details are quite amazing on it. Uh, like the vessel, blood vessels in the neck. About the head, uh, the details of the tongue and teeth are really nice, and they've added uh, some kind of glossy paint on the eyes, uh, so this is quite good. It looks like a bit more like a living animal. Um, about the size, uh, it's not the biggest figure they made, uh, it's about 50 centimeters long, max. I would even say 40, 45, and uh, it's about 14 from the close to the head. Uh, if we compare it to the Papo Raptor, uh, you can definitely see it's not that big. Uh, I even have the Spinosaurus with me, so I can compare it if you prefer. Uh, here comes the Spinosaurus. Uh, you can definitely see that. Uh, the Apatosaurus is a bit small, however, it's a very nice figure. Uh, if you have any question or request about this figure for photography or anything, you can ask me via my Flickr page, I'd be glad to answer. And just a little preview of the next video, it will be about the Tupoxaras I received, quite small but very nice.